Hey YouTube friends! Hi, I am Meredith and you are watching my channel Mare of All Trades. Today we are going to get up close and personal about what I use on my face and my hair. We're going to talk about my daily makeup routine and hair routine, the products that I use, and whether or not I like them. Um, I have tried a couple new products recently, so I'm going to kind of tell you about those, which ones are my tried and true, and which ones are just here for now, and I will be trying something else next time. So, first off, we're going to talk about lipstick of the day. So today's lipstick is by Tarte Brand. This one lives in my purse, so it's a little, little beat up there. This is the Lippy Lingerie. That what it says? Yeah. By Tarte, and it's in the color Envy. So this is, I'll show you the tip. It's more like a crayon style lipstick, um, and I really like the color. It's nice. Um, you can definitely see it, but it's similar to like what your natural lip color would be if it were several shades darker. Does that make sense? So it's not super red or orange. It's just a nice, uh, a really nice color. I feel like this would be like a great um, like lip color for a wedding actually because in photos you always look like you're wearing a little less makeup than you actually are. Um, so I'm going to show you the little bins that I keep my makeup in. I've actually really toned it down. Um, so I have two bins. This one is where I keep all of my um, eye products and um, I throw my blush in this one. And then I also have this guy, and this has almost all of my lip colors. Um, I suppose I can throw this one back in there. So this is the one I'm wearing today. So these are all the lip colors that I have. You guys have already seen pretty much all of these colors um, in my lipstick of the day in each of my videos. So if you watch regularly, you've seen most of these. Um, I think the only ones you probably haven't seen are this one, this one. Now I'm dropping things. And this one. So... I'll kind of show you these guys. This one is a Clinique one, and it looks like a crayon, but it actually pumps out as a gloss. This one's pretty red. It's not really nice. I'll probably wear this in a future video so you guys can see it. But I got it on clearance, so I'm not sure if they make it anymore. It's called Super Scarlet. It's number two. Uh, this one is a Bobbi Brown color. I got it... Oh, I want to say, I want to say I got it for free. It's like a sample size. Um, and I think I might have gotten it like when I bought, you know, $25 worth of stuff from Sephora. They shipped it to me with the rest. So this is crushed lip color in the color Babe. This one is actually really nice. And this one I tend to use daily. Like if I'm just going to be running errands around town and I don't, I don't need like a really bright lip color, um, this is usually what I will throw on. And then the last one is another one of those. Um, I either got it in like an Ipsy or Sephora Play box or something like that. Um, this is the Anastasia, Anastasia, or Anastasia, depending on how fancy you are, of Beverly Hills. And this is in the color Saint Tropez. So I don't love that one. So to be honest, I may get rid of it. So the whole reason we're here, though. I'm getting off on all the lip colors because can you tell I like lipstick? Um, is to talk about my daily routine. So here's what I'm currently using. I'm using the Way Leave-In Conditioner. I got this in my FabFitFun box very recently and I really like it. Um, it's supposed to retail for like $26. I normally use Kenra um, leave-in conditioner and I think that works very well. Um, this one definitely has a little more fragrance um, and while I like it, I'm not sure that I love it enough to pay more money. Kenra is in like the 15-ish dollar range, I'm trying to remember, and the way is 26. And while I really like it, I don't know that it works that much better. I don't know if it works $10 better per bottle. So, nice, but Kenra's just fine too. And then the other thing that I used in my hair today, so I only use two products, is I spray the way leave-in conditioner, and I do my leave-in conditioner the minute I jump out of the shower. Like, that's the first thing I do, dry off, spray that in. And then I've been using the Kenra Curl Glaze Mousse. Um, again, 
I'm not loving this. I have tried their curl cream before and I really like it a lot. This, I feel like has a little too much hold, like it just gets kind of crunchy. Um, and if you hear talking, it's the baby. <laughs> She's chilling out by my feet. Um, so it can get a little, actually a lot crunchy. Um, and I don't feel like it has amazing frizz control, but it's all right and I bought it so I'm gonna try and use it up um, I'm not gonna make it back to the store where I usually buy my beauty product my hair products I should say um, anytime soon so I'm just gonna try to use it up um, but I prefer their curl cream instead of their curl mousse and a little definitely goes a long way with this so as far as skincare goes I've been trying the CeraVe I'm assuming is how you say that my mother-in-law thought it's that it was pronounced crave so tomato tomato um, this is actually the PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion, the Ultra Lightweight, and it's oil-free. Um, I normally use Peter Thomas Roth, but I've been looking for budget-friendly alternatives. Hang on. So I got the nighttime one because I don't need SPF in this because the normal tinted moisturizer that I use has an SPF in it already. Um, and so I wanted to be able to have one that I could use both day and night. So I've really been liking this. Now, normally I use the Tarte uh, Tinted Moisturizer. However, I, once again, was going to try something that was a little bit more budget friendly. So I tried the Burt's Bees BB Cream. Um, this does have SPF 15 in it as well. And it's in the color Light. Once again, hi baby. Um, this is extremely light. I am about as fair as they come without actually being albino. <laughs> and this is almost too light. Um, in another month or two, when I've spent some time outside, I won't be able to use this. Um, and while I feel like it gives pretty good coverage, um, I think it is really thick uh, and I've been actually mixing it with the moisturizer that I bought to kind of thin it out a little bit so that I feel like it spreads a little bit better so to be honest I feel like this sits on the skin so for me I'm using a tinted moisturizer because I want light to medium coverage but I don't want to feel like there's <laughs> Exactly. I don't want to feel like that either. I don't want to feel like there's stuff on my face. And so, um, so I don't love it. I'm, yeah. uh, I'm going to continue using it and probably try to use it up or at least use it until I get to be a little too... <laughs> yeah. My goodness, you have so much to say. Um, until I you know, get a little too dark to be able to use it anymore. Yeah. Would you take your note for a minute so I can keep talking? Or you have more to tell me? Do we need to pause the video so you can talk to yourself in the in the viewfinder? Um, so anyways, so just okay is, is the verdict on this one. I wouldn't recommend it unless you are really trying to cut the budget and you really don't mind the feel of makeup. But for me, that's kind of an issue. So, and the only other thing that I really use for my skin is the Tarte Shape Tape um, for my concealer. I like it, but this a little goes a long way. If you use too much, you will look like you have slathered concealer on your face. So, it's okay. It does cover blemishes well, and it definitely covers dark circles pretty darn well, but... Um, I would say be careful with it, especially if, um, you are starting to age a little bit. I am, uh, I am starting to notice a little bit of, uh, fine lines and wrinkles. I know the, the light is making me look much younger and more fabulous than I really am in real life, but I'm starting to get a few wrinkles and it can really start to get that sort of crepey look. Um, around the eyes especially if you're not careful and if you use too much so use sparingly but it does work well 
And then the only other thing, I actually only have a sample size of it right now because um, the bottle that I had was getting kind of old and also it's currently a little too dark for my skin. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD uh, Invisible Cover Foundation. I really like this a lot. Um, and I will be repurchasing it in this color once I get a little darker during the summer. This is the R230, and that color works really well right now for me to uh, contour if I ever feel the need to do that. Spoilers, I don't really do that very often. So um, if I want to, I can put my tinted moisturizer on and then I can, you know, cut in a little bit here or wherever. But let's be honest, I don't contour. <laughs> almost ever. Maybe if I was going to a wedding, I would contour, but that would be the only reason. So this is just nice to have. I keep it um, in case um, I need it for traveling or to keep in my purse if I'm going to like touch up if I have a blemish or something. Um, by the way, I do actually have, well, you probably will hardly be able to see it, uh, quite a large blemish right there right now. It's that time of the month, joy. Um, and I did use the shape tape and a little bit of this um, to conceal it and it worked out really well because uh, you can hardly tell on camera which is great because I'm not trying to show the world all that stuff okay so the next thing I usually use this is my everyday uh, blush I use Tarte brand and I really have to say I like Tarte's uh, blushes and just their products in general I own a lot of Tarte so um, this one is called Parte, uh, and it's the Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush. I do feel like it lasts really well, um, and I got this again. This one happened to be a sample from, I believe, Sephora, where I think it came in a Sephora play bag. So, really like this one. This is what the color looks like. Can you, see, you are wondering. I feel like it's just such a nice, light, neutral color. Um, just to give me just a little bit because if I don't wear some blush I look just so washed out and if I'm not wearing blush people ask if I'm feeling okay um, you know maybe I'm joining a coven of vampires or something but um so it's really pretty but it's nice and light because if I get too dark of a blush color it's really hard to blend it on my skin and then we're going to go into the eye area. So I'm going to just close my eyes for you real quick so you can see what it looks like. So the first color that I used, I use Laura Mercier's um, eyeshadow sticks all the time. I love these. Um, these are the caviar eye stick colors. And this one is in the color Moonlight. This is what it looks like on camera. I'm going to do the whole YouTuber hand in front of the product. It's very fabulous. Um, so I just did that all over my eyelid. And then, my products are rolling away from me. This is another sample that I got. Uh, these oftentimes come in a pack of like four at Christmas time, so you can get four different colors. That's how I got these smaller size. These last a really long time. Um, and I have purchased the full size ones, but this is definitely a product that I would recommend. Laura Mercier's, um, Eye sticks are great. So, and then I did get this one as a sample of mascara. This is the Dior Show Pump. Yeah, Pump and Volume. I'll show you what the wand looks like. So it's one of those more rubbery wands. And this is just in black, I believe. Yep, just black. Um, love it. Love it, love it, love it. I do not want to know what a full size of this costs. Um, if you have a mascara that you absolutely love that's not too horrendously expensive, please leave it in the comments below. I'm always looking for a great mascara. Um, this one was really good. And then I do actually have one that, this is the one I normally purchase, um, but this is not the one I'm wearing today. This is the Hourglass Film Noir in Onyx. And this is the one that I normally purchase. It's like free of parabens and a whole bunch of other nasty chemically grossness. Um, so this is what I normally purchase, but I have to say I feel like this one worked better, but I'm sure it has all kinds of nasty crap. So, to each their own. And then this one is another thing that I got in Sephora Play. I actually use a lot of the stuff that comes in my play bag and my Ipsy bag. So what I'll do is I will have a couple months where I'll get them, and then I'll 
turn it off and then use up all those samples that I've gotten trying the different things out. And then when I'm, you know, have kind of gone through everything, I'll decide to re-up my subscription and get new stuff. So it's kind of fun. I like being able to switch it up and play with different things. But to be honest, I kind of just want that core, easy, everyday stuff. So this is actually a highlighting stick that I got. This is the mini, mini highlight stick. Uh, it does not say in what shade, so I'm assuming they must only have one shade. But this is what it looks like. And I use this some days just straight up as eyeshadow because I'm that pale. I don't really need a highlighting stick. Um, I just need a darker foundation. So anyways, so I usually use this right up here to highlight my brow bone. Some days I use it as actual eyeshadow. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder so I can make sure I'm pointing in the right spot. So if I'm not looking at you guys, that's why. Um, and then I also use it right here in the corner of my eye if I'm wearing a darker shade. But otherwise I just swipe this across my lid because I don't always have time to like do a full face of makeup. So it's pretty much like and move on to mascara, you know, mom life. So I've been liking that. This is not something I wear on a daily basis, but this is something that I wear um, mainly if I'm filming videos or going to like an event, maybe a concert or a wedding or I'm going out for the evening with my girlfriends, which let's be honest, happens like mm, twice a year. So mostly I wear it for you. Um, this is the Anastasia of Beverly Hills. This is the Tinted Brow Gel and this is in the color espresso. So I have pretty thick eyebrows to about here and then they really taper off considerably. Um, you can see on this side too. So I like to fill in my eyebrows a little bit. Um, and I also feel like my eyebrows are just a little bit lighter than uh, my hair color. I color my hair, I have some grays that I like to cover up. And so I do it just a little bit darker than my natural. So this just helps kind of uh, fill everything in a bit and make them just a slight bit darker. So I really like this, recommend it, and this is something I have repurchased multiple times. And then the other thing that I use pretty much every single day is actually from Grove Collaborative. This is the Mint and Argon Chapstick. They sent this to me for free. Um, it's lip balm with hydrating chia seed oil. I really like it. It does, you definitely have that like minty tingly feeling when you put it on. So I usually put on my tinted moisturizer and then I put this on right away so that my lips are nice and moisturized when I go to put on my lipstick. Um, and like I was saying earlier, I normally, where did it go? I normally put this on and then I will swipe just a little bit of this color over it um, because if I'm just gonna run errands, I don't wanna look like I don't have any lips, which is what happens if I'm not wearing a lip color. But I also don't wanna wear a bright red lipstick that I would normally wear on camera because in real life that can be a little bit much if I'm just wearing a t-shirt and jeans um, and running into Aldi. But that is everything that I put on from here up. So if you guys have any questions about any of the things I use, um, techniques or anything like that, I actually used to be a hairstylist and I would do hair and makeup for weddings. So this is kind of my everyday routine. Um, yeah. Other than that, um, I always love hearing from you guys in the comments. So make sure to leave me your favorite products, uh, any mascaras you think I should try. My baby is banging away with the remote over here. Um, and until next time, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Thanks.